So while Perl itself is very powerful language, it's a very powerful language, it can be used in a lot of ways, but uh, a much bigger power lies with CPAN. CPAN is the comp comprehensive Perl archive network, which is a collection of lots of lots of extensions for Perl to do various tasks. And um, it's very recommended to reuse those tools that are already there, those libraries or mo modules. And in the next couple of lectures, we're going to go over various ways to interact with CPAN, various ways to find their modules and how to install them and so on. So there are a couple of links here and we'll check them out. The first one is CPAN itself. So if we click on this one, I'll go in a separate tab. Now this is a, a large font, so you will see it slightly differently. I'm just trying to make sure that you can read even the in the video. So this is the inter this is the main interface of, of CPAN itself, although this is not the place where most of the people are, are visiting. But let's see what's in here. So CPAN itself is basically a huge web server with it's a huge directory where each author who is writing code uploading uh, their files and the files are in their own home directory so they don't uh, mix them up you can uh, find them in their in the home directory with the right person but uh, that means that looking for something within that file system is difficult because you don't know the author you are uh, usually are interested in the in a solution not who is the author so there are various search engines for uh, for cpan and we'll see them and one of them is actually linked here. So if you type in some uh, query, then it will lead you actually to one of the search engines of, of uh, CPAN. But before that, let's see what's in here. So uh, what we can see here is, well, you can see recent uploads. So if new versions are coming in to CPAN, I, I think usually like 50 or, or even more every day. These are either new modules or new versions of the same modules. Uh, then lots of uh, resources here. What's interesting maybe is the ports. So ports is a list of various operating systems. Some of them are more mainstream, some of them are rarer, uh, special operating systems that are not used so much. And uh, the version, and the way Perl is working there. So Perl works on many many platforms, but not always the latest Perl, because it might take some time till the port is done, till everything is fixed, or till something is checked whether the whether that version of Perl works on these platforms. So he, here you can apply the instructions how to get Perl or how to find binary version of Perl for the specific operating systems, if that's what you need. Then there is the Perl source, where you can actually download easily the source code of Perl. So especially if you are on the Linux systems, here are the instructions how to get, how to download the latest version of the latest source code version, how to unpack and how to build it uh, for yourself to create an, uh, your own version of, of Perl. And here are the various versions, the earlier versions that might be interesting for you. Windows users probably prefer to have a binary version already, but that's not from here. That's either Strawberry Perl or Active Perl or a couple of other distributions for Windows. These are the source codes. So these are the main interesting parts here, I think. There's a, a FAQ also. And what's interesting is that basically uh, the authors are uploading uh, their files to one central place and that gets mirrored, copied to lots of lots of other places. That uh, especially it was important uh, 10 years ago, today maybe it's not that important, but it will allow you allows you to use a, a server, a CPAN server, which is closer to you, which is faster, and it will it distributes the load when installing um, the, the modules. So this is the main website, the, uh, the CPAN org, and uh, this is CPAN basically. All the rest that we are going to see are various other sites that are using the same data from CPAN and providing you all kind of interfaces. So for example, if you type here uh, something like, uh, I don't know, uh, database, 
you're looking for something about database, then it will bring you to search CPAN org, which is uh, not part of CPAN, even though the domain is sort of uh, uh, looks like it's not really part of the CPAN. It's uh, a separate search engine that uses the same the data that was uh, uploaded to CPAN. And that's just the second I go back to the slide. So that's the second link here, the search CPAN org, and here you can search you have you can search for various uh, modules on cpan and in the next lecture we are going to see how you can search for modules